Hey GC, only two more days till fall break. I'm Buddy Jackson, here with Colton King. Hey all you juniors, listen up. Balfour will be coming to Graves on October 9th during lunch as well as, October, as well as after school from 3 to 6 p.m. They'll be taking letter jacket orders. If you're interested, please pick up a letter jacket packet in the front office. You will be required to put down a $75 deposit on your order. The jackets will be delivered this fall. The University of Kentucky Alumni vs. Mid-Continent game is this Saturday at the Eagle's Nest. Doors open at 6 p.m. and tip-off is at 7.30. There will be special appearances by James Lee and Jack Goose Givens as honorary coaches for the event. Chair back seats are $15, lower level bleacher seats are $10, and upper level bleacher seats are only $5. So grab those tickets while they're still available. Don't forget to bring in your new or gently used clean coats to your first period teacher by October 19th. The first period class that brings the most wins a buffet breakfast. Please be generous with your giving. Coming up during the break, we have Eagles soccer and golf scores, as well as the weekly forecast. The golf soccer team got back on track last night with a much-needed district win against the Murgan Tigers. What's up, Eagle Nation? The volleyball team faced off against the Murray Tigers last night and came ready to play. Caitlin Nicely led the Eagles with a three sets to none win with 10 kills. The Lady Eagles soccer team faced off against the number six ranked team in the state last night. The Lady Eagles executed a good game plan, but the Lady Tigers were just too much to handle, with our girls losing 3-1. Destiny White scored the team's only goal. The boys soccer team also hosted the Murray Tigers last night. The Eagles jumped out early with Hunter Jones scoring off a cross from Isaac Mars, giving the Eagles an early 1-0 lead. The Eagles never looked back as Joel Pelosi and Isaac Mars both scored goals, giving the Eagles a 3-0 win. The soccer teams host Mayfield for senior night tomorrow, with the girls at 5.30 and the guys following afterwards at 7.30. And last but definitely not least, the golf team headed to Paxton Country Club yesterday to play in the Region 1 golf tournament. The team was led by junior Justin Roberts, which shot the lowest score on the team with a 75. Uh, as a team, we shot 312, and we qualified for state, and I shot 75. We play at state uh, next Friday and Saturday. The team shot a 312, and that score was good enough to send our Eagle golf team to state for the first time in 15 years. Well, that's all we have for today's show, as there are no teams in action tonight. For GC Sports, I'm Chase Woolley. We're going to have a high of about 88 today and a low 64 with a 30% chance of thunderstorms that may go up to 40. Thursday, we're also going to have a 40% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 84 and a low of 63. And on Friday, it's another 40% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 82 and a low of 60. This has been your GC Weather Forecast. FBLA members, FBLA Spirit Day is Friday. All members need to wear an FBLA t-shirt and go to E36 during break for a quick picture. Speaking of FBLA shirts, Miss Gaddis will be placing orders for FBLA t-shirts the week we return from fall break. If you want an FBLA shirt, make sure you give your $21 to Miss Gaddis this week. Also, there will be no credit recovery tutoring after school today. Fall break is just around the corner. Make sure you study hard for your finals. Bye!